In each of the following cases, I'm going to determine the average arrival rate per hour and the average inter-arrival time in hours. For the first one, we'll be looking at one arrival every 10 minutes. For the second one, we'll be looking at two arrivals occurring every six minutes. So I'll start by looking at uh, the first one there, one arrival every 10 minutes. What we want to find there is uh, the arrival rate lambda per hour. What we are having there is one arrival every 10 minutes. We want to change this uh, to per hour. So what we do is we multiply that 10 minutes by 6 so that we get 60 minutes. And for those 60 minutes, we'll be having 6 arrival just because each 10 minutes is 1 arrival. So 1 arrival every 10 minutes is equivalent to 6 arrivals every 60 minutes, which translates to 6 arrivals every hour. So that will be our lambda there. And the lambda, the arrival rate is 6 per hour. Now for the inter-arrival time, the inter-arrival time is the inverse of the average arrival rate, 1 over lambda. So the inter-arrival time there, we are having our lambda is equal to 6. So our inter-arrival time, which is 1 over lambda, will be 1 over 6 hours. That's the inter-arrival time for question number A. I now move on to the next one there. Two arrivals occurring every 6 minutes. And what I will look at first is the arrival rate per hour lambda. We are given that there are two arrivals every six minutes. We want the arrival rate per hour. When we are looking at six minutes, to get uh, to an hour, we multiply that six by 10 so that we would have 60 minutes. But for the 60 minutes, we are saying that uh, we are having two arrivals every six minutes. So for the 60 minutes, will be having the 2 times 10 which will give us 20. So 2 arrivals every 6 minutes is equivalent to 20 arrivals every 60 minutes. Because I just multiplied by the 10 there to get the 60 minutes which is an hour. Then the 2 by 10 gives us the 20 arrivals per 60 minutes. So in this case our arrival rate per hour there the lambda is a 20. Now moving on to the inter-arrival time. As I said before, the inter-arrival time is equal to 1 over lambda. Our lambda is a 20, therefore our inter-arrival time per hour is 1 over 20.